First of all, I didn't know I was depressed. I just had all these different moods and, you know, I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to be around, but I was working at that particular time. I'm retired now, but I didn't want to be around people. I was crying all the time. Um, wasn't sure what was going on. Um, had suicidal thoughts and um, I might say I tried suicide three times, but it didn't work because I'm here talking to you. And uh, that was back in my 20s, when I was in my 20s. Um, it was very hard because I didn't know anything about it. They didn't openly talk about it. I was working. I was dealing with the stigma. If anybody found out that something was wrong, you know, so I just act like I was mad or that kind of thing. I was embarrassed, um, afraid I was going to lose my job if anybody found out. Um, and I wasn't... Um, I just wasn't sure of myself. You didn't want anybody to know that you were dealing with depression. Uh, the treatment that I got, I had different therapists and um, they went so far to say it was all in my head that I was just not getting my way or, you know, I was very confused about it. Um, I think my last time I was really in treatment, um, I had a female doctor that sat down with me and went over my life history. And then she started telling me what happened at different stages in my life so I could understand what was going on with me. And um, that was the first time, and that was when I was in my 50s, that was the first time that I could really put up uh, uh, an understanding on what was going on with me. And so uh, me being involved with this project has changed my outlook on life. Um, it has changed um, how I talk about it. Um, I went back to school to learn about psychology so that I could understand myself. And so I'm learning more about mental health. I'm learning more about uh, the human, your human mind. And um, it's helping me with body, mind, and soul to be a better person.